Hello, I'm Tracy Diane. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And if you want to, if you like the video, please let me know. Okay, today I had a different plan. All right, I plan for the video, but then I saw the date for today and I thought, okay, I'm going to do something different. Today, when I was a kid, today was a holiday. I don't know if it, what it was for you, but today was a holiday. We call it May Day because it's the first day of May. Um, when I was a kid, we used to get or make uh, little baskets um, out of construction paper, or we take uh, Dixie cups uh, when they were when when they first came around, or we get those uh, little uh, basket that you get. Uh, star strawberries in from a grocery store and we uh, put little handles on them and uh, and we put little uh, plastic um, grass like thing that you use for like your Easter egg your Easter bunny your Easter baskets those little uh grass looking thing we put that on the bottom in the baskets and i put like candy and or sometimes we'll have baked goods like cookies and cupcakes and that kind of goodie stuff and then we we put um flowers in there like spring flowers that you see like uh lilacs or whatever flowers at the time uh, that comes out during this time and put it in our basket and on May Day, which would, would be today, we take those little baskets and we take it to all our family and friends house. We leave it by the door, ring the doorbell and we have to leave before uh, we're, we're not supposed to be seen by the people that we're leaving these uh, baskets for. We're supposed to leave. And the thing is, you don't know who uh, who they came from. Uh, the, the, it, nobody ever knows about that unless they catch you. <laughs> and supposedly, if they do catch you, they'll, I don't know why they do, but I was really low and when we did these, um, it was fun. And at some point, uh, somebody had to, um, well, ruin it for everybody else, but like putting something dangerous in the candy or the cookies and, and like razor blades or something that's harmful, uh, poisoning, with the poisoning in it, or that kind of stuff. So at some point that um, holiday just, just disappeared. Before that, when I was a kid, May Day was celebrated a little, a little, a little bit differently in older time, before long before I was born. What they used to do is, um, well, you've probably seen a lot of movies or or pictures of this, uh, where there's this uh, long pole outside, kind of like your flagpole thing, but it's not a flagpole, but but it looks like one. But uh, at the top, uh, there there's attached to it is this these ribbons all these ribbons and there'd be many people people uh they each have part of this ribbon and they dance around this pole and uh 
create some kind of braid on going down this pole. And they would just dance around, uh, wrapping in these ribbons. And uh, I, I, this is long before I was around, uh, they call it the pole, maypole. Uh, like they wrapped around the pole. And it's to celebrate spring. Uh, the first day, I mean, first day of May and first day of everything. And uh, I think they consider it as like the first day of spring. It's, you know, there's a lot of funness, things that was fun. Uh, I, like I said, somebody spoiled it for everybody. And you don't see that kind of a holiday anymore. Uh, it's kind of sad that someone has to ruin it for everybody. But that was a that was a holiday for a day. It, it happens every May first. Um, I, I'm not sure everybody uh, celebrated at the time, but uh, but it was fun. Um, and I was thinking about um, someone had it online about what was better, the symptoms or the Flintstones. I said that I think the Flintstones were better. And then there are a lot of people saying that the Simpsons are better. But as I disagree. And uh, the writing may be better, possibly. Depends how you look at it. Um, one thing about the Flintstones is that I grew up watching the Flintstones. Uh, and it was, there's just this... Oh, part of your past that you kind of enjoy watching when you're a kid. I mean, I, I still enjoy watching the Flintstones. Uh, the, I'm sure the funny parts are no longer as funny as they were when they, when you were a kid because you see it so many times that it just kind of, it just not as, you don't catch it as much as, as you did when you were a kid. Anyway, what the symptoms to me, um, I liked it for for a little bit, but they got to the point where the humor wasn't or isn't no longer funny, and that's because I find most of the. Uh, uh, the comedy in in the Simpsons is that they've always degraded each other. They're always um, putting each other down. They're never nice. They're never uh, it, it's just somehow that just It, it, that's not funny to me. I mean, put people down, be sarcastic, being a bully, being, oh, I just, there's just some of that in the Flintstones too. But with Flintstones, there's always this, this point where, well, the thing is the characters are always fun and they're always lovable, lovable and, and they have these moments where they're not so wonderful, but that then at the end of the day, they always find a way of uh, realizing, uh, or they're always like these little morals of knowing that what was what was done was wrong, and they were sorry, and then become loving person again. I don't see that with its sentence, and it just. 
as somebody who's, you know, we talk about people are woke or waken. A person who's awake would not find the sarcastic storyline to be funny. It, they just don't want any of that. I suppose it's long, you know, if, if it's, you know, at the end of the day, they realize they were wrong, fine, but I just never, I just don't find the characters as lovable as the Flintstones. I think that's, uh, I think that's the key there. Um, I, and, and, and go back, go someplace, well, to talk about like the, um, Uh, sorry, the, like Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Yeah, I can understand why some people don't like it, but on the other hand, there's always this point where people learn from their mistakes, learn that uh, if they said something that's wrong to hurt another person, they always find a way of learning from that and become better people and they always seems to be sorry and, and there's always that element of moment of clarity and I keep that in mind so don't take everything away uh, and when I was a kid every morning well not every morning every Saturday morning we would watch cartoons uh, from very beginning of the morning towards uh, almost afternoon. Uh, in another video before this one, I talked about American Bandstand. Ba American Bandstand was like the last part of the morning, uh, of the morning routine. And I always thought little kids would watch this all these cartoons and when you get up to the American Bandstand that was more for well, like for young kids but um, older kids like in their teen years I always thought that's their moment their little space um, and since uh, like uh, oh like HBO and Nickelodeon and that all that stuff. Uh, when people put start having those channels, they took away the Saturday morning cartoons, which is I'm not sure if I like that idea, but maybe it's just traditional. I'm I'm so traditional about that kind of stuff, but I almost feel like they're taking away a lot of. Uh, great moments for kids. I mean, people talk about their family values and really into kids, but when we, it seems like the kids stuff that always get the run, uh, uh, somebody always, always has to ruin it for them for whatever reason. And I don't know why it has to be that way. Um, I, I know sometimes parents don't always allow the kids to watch car, uh, TV, but I don't know, it sort of seems like something about cartoons. That you gotta give kids their moment too. And that's how I feel. Um, Uh, but well, I'm not sure what else to say. Um, uh, tell me what you think. But what I said, um, 
Oh, have you ever had a holiday like May Day? Um, it was fun, like I said. Um, and nobody ever really got hurt, as far as I know, except for the, unless you got a, a bad apple or something. Um, I don't know why if somebody had spoiled something like that for everybody. But, um, tell me what you think, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Peace.